everybody how are you so anyway um just a quick thing in my video that i made the story time i am writing down questions um that you guys are asking that i will you know in my next video story time video answer um so again if you have questions if you want me to if you want me to talk about certain things please leave them in the comments on that video and i will be more than happy to um, talk about those things. Now let's move along to this jackass in the box, Faith Goldie girl. I'm disgusted that she shares my name. Oh, am I disgusted. Let me just start this by saying one thing. I know James Charles is not a child. I'm not saying he is a child, but he is a young man. I believe he is 19 years old. I'm pretty sure if he's 20, my bad. But for her to take somebody that is that young and, and throw this kind of disgustingness at him is just awful. Okay, I mean, he, he's a very successful young man that is still, you know, filling his oats, going through his shit, you know, putting his life together. And you should be pretty damn proud of this, of him. Because let's take all his drama and bullshit aside and things that happen in the drama community, whatever. Let, that is completely irrelevant right now. And let's just appreciate, whether you like James Charles or not, completely irrelevant. But let's just appreciate the fact that this young man is extremely, extremely talented and extremely successful. Okay, so... This woman's got to be some big-ass jealous Judy. I'm just telling you that right now. And she is trash. She is an absolute piece of trash. And I would love to know what in the world blackface has anything, anything to do with men and makeup. Because it has nothing to do with men doing makeup. It has nothing to do with boys doing makeup. It has nothing to do with girls doing makeup or women doing makeup. It's got... Eh, Wrong answer. To tie blackface into any of this shit is the most disgusting, disgusting thing that I've ever heard. Well, it's not the most disgusting thing that I've ever heard, but it's right up there with the top ten. Because this, she's, I mean, she must not have very good education. I'm sorry, because... I don't even fit, I don't even understand where those two tie together or where they fit in the same category because they just don't. And then for her to say gender appropriation, what, what is that? I don't understand, you know, is it one of these, you know, is she one of those people that are saying, you know, that transgender people shouldn't like, that people shouldn't have like bathrooms, you know, for transgender or whatever, because I mean... I, I'm just going to, and she probably is one of those haters. I mean, and I, and I am going to go there and put my opinion on that. Again, with the transgender community, could you imagine, again, waking up every day, looking at yourself in the mirror, whether you're a boy or a girl, a man or a woman, and that not being what you feel inside, you know? So, you know, could you imagine having to go into a woman's bathroom if you really, in your mind or your body, did not feel that you were a woman? Or could you imagine going into a men's bathroom and in your mind and in your heart know that I'm not a man? You know, so maybe that's what she was trying to, you know, target when she was talking about this gender appropriation. I I, I don't know. I, I That's just my theory on what she was trying to target. Um, and just cause she's an asswipe. Um, but I think it's absolutely disgusting. And James Charles did not deserve any of this. And obviously the woman is very thirsty for attention because she tweeted it. I think Nick Snyder said her original tweet was on the 8th and then she retweeted again today because apparently bitch didn't get enough recognition and she needed to have a little hate and some people like attention whether it's negative or positive but this is a whole different I mean she better be ready for a flood of shit that people are just going to send her a lot of hate mail you know you got mail <laughs> yeah I'm a little old and old school leave me alone but seriously I just think it is absolutely disgusting. Disgusting. I'm sorry. I ain't even going to edit this. But it's disgusting and shame on her. And I don't care if she's a white nationalist. I, I don't give a shit what she is. 
But apparently she's a cave woman that lives under a fucking rock that needs to catch up with the times. And I'm sorry I had to throw an F-bomb in there because I do throw the F-bombs in when I'm extremely aggravated. And a situation like this um, really aggravates me. Yeah, I got notes. And then she had to bring up his statement or what he said on Twitter around Christmas time, which I even thought was inappropriate. Guilty that he said, all I want for Christmas is a good dick to suck. And the only reason why is, well, first of all, you know, he does have a young audience. So I thought that was inappropriate for him to tweet it, you know, but whatever. If that's what he wanted for Christmas, what you go, boo, <laughs> that's on you. You just didn't need to share it with us. You know, there's a few things that I want in life that I don't want to share. <laughs> well, actually, they're, they're, I'm just saying, you know, I just just didn't think you know sharing is caring but TMI does apply um but anyway I don't even know what hit what his statement that tweet I don't even know where that girl all over the map you know because first of all blackface has nothing to do with men and makeup you know gender appropriation has nothing to do with men and makeup and James Charles saying all I want for Christmas is a good dick to suck has nothing to do with men and makeup. I mean, if you're a little butt hurt and you feel upset and offended that the kid makes way more money than you probably ever will in your life. <laughs> Aw, sucks to be you. So you're going to come at him? I mean, I'm sorry. I just wanted to give my two cents on this, you know, whole conversation and just say that woman is a, is a piece of shit. She is a pimple on the ass of society. That is what she is, a pimple on the ass of society, you know. So I really hope James Charles, you know, don't, you know, he ain't going to feel bad over it. And yeah, there's assholes in the world. You know, again, I've said it before, assholeism exists everywhere and it knows no race or gender. You know, assholes are assholes. So therefore, assholeism exists. So, you know. If you want to look up the definition of assholeism, I mean, she's definitely going to be one of the names, you know, in the dictionary on that list. So I really hope you guys are having a wonderful evening. And I did see a lot of buzz on Twitter and we were talking about it in our live stream yesterday. And I was very, very excited that Eugenia Cooney re, um, put out a tweet that she and I, we absolutely all will respect her privacy and we are all very glad that she did put out on Twitter that she's going to be stepping away from social media and working with doctors. So congratulations and God bless you. And, you know, may all the willpower and everything you need be on your side and send her a shit ton of hugs and prayers because she needs it. You know, I am so happy for her. I am jumping out of my skin how happy I am for her. So I wanted to put a happy note in on this video um, because I'm so proud for her and I'm so happy. And um, again, that is wonderful news. So let me know your, th you know, feelings that on this um, situation with James Charles. And again, whether you love him or you hate him or you're just like whatever, it's got nothing to do with it. It is completely irrelevant. No grown ass adult should ever, ever say this to anybody ever, let alone a person of James Charles age. You know, it's not like he's a full blown adult. It's not like he's in his 20s and 30s and stuff like that. And he shouldn't have to read stuff like that. He should. Sh just disgusting. I mean, how do you wake up one day and you know what? I'm going to be like a real asshole and I'm going to at James Charles this really nasty, disgusting piece of shit stuff. I mean, I don't understand. So please let me know in your comments below. And again, um, I love all my subscribers. I really do. You guys are always very kind in the comment sections and I appreciate it. Oh, I, if you guys didn't catch my live stream yesterday... I did, I couldn't believe somebody said in my Alexa Stone video that Alexa Stone seen my video that I made about him and he put it on his Instagram stories. But the funny thing is, is he, <laughs> he got me mixed up with my daughter's Instagram and he put Miranda 109 instead of me, but I don't care. It's okay. Get my daughter some recognition. You go, you can have that. Cause if they swipe up and even put it where if you swipe up, you see my video. I was so humbled, but I stand behind that shit. He, Mm -mm. He did an awesome, wonderful thing with the fuck you to the haters. So, again, I'm sorry for babbling, but 
you know I'm trying to support my mama. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not going to lie. I bring the video up to 10 minutes, so thank you for spending 10 minutes of your life with me. <laughs> As always, hugs and kisses to you all, and I appreciate each and every single last one of you, and of course the camera's gonna be a dick at the end of the damn thing. Thank you. <laughs> Again, kisses to everybody, and hope you have a great night.